Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Asmi, and I'm Roger. And welcome to Roger and Asmi Vlogs. So today, as we promise, um, we'll be talking about the costs of living in Cebu, the Queen City of the South, Cebu City, my hometown. Correct. So, how much does it cost to live in Cebu City? So before that, um, yes, we reached 15k or 15,000 subscribers. Yeah. Everyone, people, lovely people, thank you so much for your support, kindness, and generosity. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. We are so happy that we reached 15k subscribers right now. We were so shocked when we actually woke up in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. We just re reached 15k. He just said it to me. I was like, because I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and she can't uh, believe it, guys. So, yeah, this is a special day again because um, once again we reach 15k, and today is our mansory. Happy mansory. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I know, guys. Mansory is not really that common in your country but in the philippines if you have it like if you really treasure your relationship with your partner yeah you you need to to know and you need to greet your partner happy monster <laughs> correct so uh yes thank you so much guys for uh, once again for your support and we would like to welcome our new viewers and thank you so much for our old and new subscribers. So, yeah, uh, we can't reach these guys uh, without your help. And you guys part of our success also. Yes, thank you so much, guys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Cebu. Ah, yeah, I really miss my hometown. Um, when I was a cashier, I actually hosted birthdays and events in Jollibee if you know Jollibee and we always do an introduction from the Queen City of the South Cebu City <laughs> yeah so it's one of the most popular areas in actually in the Philippines for foreigners because as we all know Cebu is well known for its beaches yes and Oslob, Whale Shark and yeah a lot of things that you can enjoy in Cebu City so but for now what we're gonna talk is how much does it cost to live in Cebu City right yeah so how much does it cost like Cebu is actually a strategical located in center of the Philippines so getting actually here from anywhere in the country is rather it's really easy because it's in the center yeah, it's in the Visayas area. So it's it's near to, if you want to go to Manila, you can easily go to Access Manila. If you want to go to uh, Mindanao, you could easily access Mindanao because it's in the center. So generally, if you would go with a nice place to visit and live, uh, since it's not too expensive, but it's, it's mainly actually tourist destination since it's it's filled with many attraction sites so tourists is really attracted to it right yes and way back before when we are in uh, in uh, Cebu City and before COVID as well we saw a lot of nationalities not only Americans uh, Chinese Japanese Koreans um, Africans I think all nationalities are there. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, um, like, if you want to communicate with foreigners, Cebu is actually a perfect destination to go to. Um, it's also known for best um, educations for foreigners to to learn English, such as Japanese, Chinese, um, Korean, Indonesian. They learn English in Cebu and other parts in the Philippines too. Correct. So um, now, uh, cost of living, and yeah, we used to live there, right? 
we can really say um, it's expensive because way back before okay first uh, before I continue uh, we will share a little bit like our experience like renting like just a room a small room it's like 3,500 peso and it's really small it's just like there's no there's no comfort room you have a you don't have private comfort room it's just a room that's right. it so we try to manage it because it's close to uh, my workplace which is IT Park because I'm a uh, call center before then yeah the experience is really not not good but uh, it is what it is because you have to work well now speaking of restaurants yes famous really famous in Cebu a lot of restaurants a lot of options and restaurants are like uh, line up in Cebu so you can really choose Chinese restaurants, Koreans, and Italian, there's a lot yeah. of alternatives that you could choose from. American and even Japanese. So during payday <laughs> before, <laughs> we used to like go to Korean or Japanese restaurants. Yeah, I, I love spicy food. Believe me guys, I always eat chili. Every meal I always eat chili and I know it's not healthy but yeah. I can't I can't actually eat without like nothing spicy I want it to be spicy all the time yeah and eating out is uh, definitely cheaper compared to or inexpensive compared to Manila well it, it depends on how you like manage your your money you can have a complete meal for only uh, like less than a dollar like or maybe um two dollars right and uh, famous there is like Jollibee or <laughs> McDonald's and Kevin there yet too there's a lot of small um small stores that actually um sell food there correct and also there are uh like yeah there are like food which is also healthier right you can go to um car Carbon, yeah. which is a place where you can buy uh, vegetables and uh, fish. It's just that it's really crowded there because it's like all like farmers uh, from the mountain. They like bring their uh, vegetables and yeah, they're in carbon area. Yes, true. Uh, speaking about markets, um, food is really like quite affordable in Cebu yeah it, it costs actually like there are fresh food there are a lot of things that you can really um, compare in the, to the US like um, there are many supermarkets also um, there is Robinson Mall we have SM SMC side there's a lot um, so you really want to like if you want to tour around like you want to go everywhere there mm -hmm. it would be five hundred dollars a month and don't forget to have a they there are small bakeries too in the neighborhood mm, yeah. yeah there's a lot me and roger we always actually ate bread in the morning yeah after uh after our work right yeah so there are a lot of like small bakeries there and it's really cheap um, if you're the type of person that just eat in the morning and just bread, yeah, you can really save money for your and, <laughs> your morning yeah, breakfast. Really, really inexpensive, so very affordable. Yeah. True. Yes. In order for uh, for speaking of uh, yeah markets, um, I think a lot of options where you can you can buy a lot of vegetables. Like I said earlier, carbon area or market. Yeah. True meat vegetables there's a lot in the carbon area but you would just be cautious because there's a lot of pickpocketers in carbon area <laughs> yeah. you have to be careful right. yes so um speaking of carbon so in order for you to get to carbon you need to have transportation so in cebu <laughs> the most um common or most popular public transportation is jeepney correct so uh, jeepney and uh, for you to travel like around Cebu, 
not only jeepney but also a uh, taxi right uh, you can take any of the various means of transportation uh, in Cebu so like I said or as me said a while ago jeepney uh, bus uh, taxi motorcycle or even a bike so for me I would rather uh, prefer a motorcycle or a bike because the traffic is really you know power pack <laughs> yeah really bad in Cebu so speaking of traffic is uh, one of the major disadvantages if you are living in Cebu not only in Cebu but also Manila and the jeepneys uh, minimum fare is around uh, 13 cents Sense. yeah 13 cents but uh, it would be depending on uh, you know sometimes the the price will go varies. up yes varies and well anyway they will impose that that the, the fare is you know increasing and then while a monthly fee for like public transportation or transport is around uh, 16 16 dollars yes um when it comes to jeepneys too uh if you are in a hurry in your like in your daily day-to-day -day basis yeah traffic really sucks in Cebu kids <laughs> um, it's just a 15 minute drive but because of the traffic it would take an hour <laughs> correct so much better for it to take a motorcycle yes a motorcycle so that's very like a means of transportation if you are um, in a hurry right yes true so um, aside from that, of course, you want to know about utilities, monthly utilities in Cebu. Utilities is actually expensive in the Philippines, as you all know that. So um, it also applies in Cebu. You can easily spend like around $100 per month. That would be including um, using air conditioner around eight hours per day, pure lights, um, gadget charging, TV, hot water, and apartment of around 85 meters, square meters, yeah, um, will cost you about a hundred dollars and water bill would be I think five dollars per per month it varies though sometimes the the water bill would really be increasing depending on how much you use it true so regarding for the the like the let's say electricity bill it also depends on the usage right so it would range like um, hundred dollars to um 150 but still it really depends so if you know how to manage it well yeah um maybe lesser than uh, 150 right yes so next is sports and of course leisure of course we all know that in order for us to be entertained every day we need to have something to do as hobbies <laughs> <laughs> true and uh the most uh, i think popular there sports uh, basketball um, in Abiliana right yeah um, yeah the sports coliseum is really really famous for um, fitness if you like sports yeah you could definitely um, do jogging there there is a fitness gym there there is there's a lot of things in in Abiliana sports coliseum um, definitely if you can visit Cebu you can visit the sports Colosseum there yeah so once again Cebu is filled of uh, with cinemas like in SM Ayala so cinemas theaters and other uh, leisure opportunities and uh, a ticket for a movie in a cinema is uh, well cost you around four dollars or lower than that and also indulging in sports and fitness is more expensive like in most countries so if you want a gym or fitness club membership it will amount up to uh, almost uh, 400 dollars or lesser than that 440 uh, sorry not 400 but 40 dollars or lesser than 40. Dollars. yes it depends on like the equipment especially or the gym. yeah the gym the gym and the location and the equipment um next stop is we can go with the rentals um rental per month in in cebu of course it's really 
uh, depending on the location but it's really expensive especially if you're in the center if you are alone and you might prefer to have a boarding house or lodging house depending on uh, the part of the city you can find an apartment costing like two hundred fifty dollars if you don't mind living outside the city however if you have a mindset of living in the center city it would actually you would pay at least four hundred dollars a month so it really depends on the location guys true so it would really uh, matter or varies on the location uh, location wise if you'll say location wise uh, that's gonna be in uh, like comfortable um, like in the city center is the access so for sure the the rent uh, is really high or expensive if you're going to stay at like a little bit far so well like uh, you said earlier it's like range of four hundred dollars so well uh, we have like a table like um, the prices so to know or for you to know guys what are like you know some or rough estimate right about prices in Cebu like for example average restaurant prices meal expensive so less than three dollars and then domestic beer is like a uh, dollar and then water say of um, 0.33 yeah L liter it's around 30 cents yes and when it comes to average market prices um, milk loaf of bread eggs milk is a uh, like a one dollar or two dollars um, loaf bread is like one dollar and sixteen cents or one dollar to thirty cents next is eggs is one dollar to Forty one dollar and forty two cents or two dollars. That's already a whole uh, a dozen, yeah, one dozen. Average transport prices. Uh, one way tr ticket is like thirteen cents. A monthly pass would be fifteen dollars or sixteen dollars. Gasoline is just ninety one cents. So gasoline here is a little bit cheap. Average utilities is actually basic water garbage heating cooling um that's 94 dollars to 95 cent, 95 dollars one minute uh prepaid mobile traffic local or mobile sorry that's 15 cents internet and limited data cable um it would cost like 45 dollars to 46 average leisure prices fitness club is about $37 and again it depends on what where or what gym you'll be being a member like $37 or about $38 tennis court would be $4 cinema that would also be $4 or lesser than that average um, average rent prices one bedroom is about like 300 to 350 dollars a month um, that is in the center city about outside center city is maybe 200 or lesser than that um, apartment with three bedrooms in the center city it would cost you about like 400 to no no not 400 but about 500 500 to 600 dollars a month and that's already three bedrooms in the center city in the city center yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, still it really like as well like always said uh, it really depends on the location and also the lifestyle right so if you used to live in a, a high-end lifestyle so you have to expect that you have to spend more monthly more like yeah a higher higher amount well if you use and how uh, you know how to budget your money so well you can really save a lot right so once again it really depends on your lifestyle lifestyle and how you budget your money so again guys cebu is also a perfect destination for you to choose your retirement really depends on what you prefer choose wisely <laughs> yeah. choose wisely and for the first timer uh try to have um, airbnb for like 
like if you want to stay one month yeah we would highly uh, suggest to stay uh, or have a reservation through Airbnb yeah so that you get save money and you can really um, try to know the area much of the area in Cebu so thank you so much guys again the basic necessity in Cebu is the rental the transportation, transportation the leisure sports. and yeah leisure and sports um we also have like uh aside from sports and leisure transportation utilities utilities yes so thank you so much for watching this guys i know it's a little bit long but yeah you want to know more about cebu so thank you so much for watching till the end i hope to see you in our next vlog yes bye bye, bye.